Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install a protective boot on your air impact gun. What a protective boot will do is save the finish of the impact gun itself. It will keep it from getting beat up, the stickers from scratching off of it, um, and just the normal wear and tear that they see, getting thrown in a toolbox, getting drug around underneath of a car, dropped, you know, all kinds of things happen to these and you know, despite how well built they are, they still can get really, really beat up. So if you just have one of these inexpensive protective boots that are made for almost all of the pneumatic ones, then you can really just save the finish, you can save the appearance of your tools, you can prevent damage that otherwise will occur without one. So the, the biggest problem that you're going to run into when you get a protective boot is figuring out how to put it on your impact itself. I mean, they're very, very stiff. So they're made to, to be form-fitting and fit on here very well, but getting them on through this small you know, hole in the bottom is pretty much impossible without special methods. Some things you may read about or watch online involve heat with uh, heat guns or, or blow dryers, something like that, or maybe even uh, putting oil on there and stretching it on that way. But I have a really, really simple way that just involves hot water, and you'll heat the boot up itself in hot water, dry it off, and then it, because it's warm, it's very pliable, and you can stretch it right over top of your impact gun, and within a few moments, it's cooled off to the point that it's form-fitted on here, and will you know, last just as long as your tool. Okay, here we have two different Ingersoll Rand Titanium Edition half-inch drive impact guns. This one I already put the protective boot on, and this one I have not put it on yet. Both of these were equally beat up to start with, but I got some of these protective boots online, and I want to throw them on here to give it a fresh look and prevent any future damage. I'm going to zoom in on the one that does not have the boot on it, so you can just see just how scratched up the surface gets with normal use. Um, you can see here that, I mean, just from dragging around under vehicles, and you know banging around in the toolbox or getting dropped on the floor it can really just ruin the entire finish of these where if you have a protective boot on them even if you put it on when they're brand new um, afterwards you you would have a tool that still looked new underneath because the boot would take all the abuse and not the tool itself basically all you're going to need is a sink i'm using a slop sink and then you need something to hold the water in that the boot can be fully submerged in. So I'm going to use this little paint pan, but if you had a bucket or a pan or anything, or maybe just plug the sink up, you would have the exact same effect. And what you do is you put the boot inside the container and then just turn the hot water on, hot only. And let the water run for, I don't know, two or three minutes and just let it run and the constant water adding in there is going to constantly keep this hotter and hotter and hotter and it, what it will do is it will match the temperature of your hot water tank. So after it runs for two or three minutes then you'll just turn the water off, take the boot out and then dry it off and we're going to install it right on our impact gun. I'll fast forward through this but this will time lapse over about two minutes. Okay, now it's been about two minutes. We turn the water off, take the boot out, and now we're just going to dry it off because I don't want to lock in all that moisture around my impact gun itself. Now that I've dried it off, the rubber material is very, very pliable. You take the impact gun, you take the bottom of the boot and slide it over the end of the impact gun where you would attach the socket. Now that it is uh, over the end, in the rear, grab it with two fingers and pull it back towards you while you're pressing down. And now we have a boot installed on an impact gun. And that is how easy it is to install a boot on an air impact gun. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.